Okay, I've just come into the GTT room at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest. Many people are saying this is the best room and perhaps the room next to it, rooms at the show. So before we listen, I just want to let you know that there's a big buzz going on. Bill Parrish from GTT. Well, that's great, Peter. Thank but, you and welcome to our room. Thank you very much. What do you have in the room, Bill? We're showing analog only in this room. It's uh, the Kronos limited edition pro with the Andre Terrio Black Beauty arm and the Airtight Supreme cartridge. All electronics in the room are AudioNet. We're using the AudioNet Pre-G2 preamplifier and the PAM G2 phono stage and the EPX power supply. And, it, and everything in the room is being powered by the Kabbalah Sosna expander. Excuse me for almost interrupting, I just want to let the viewers know that that is a top of the line power supply uh, for, the, for the PAM and also uh, for the phono stage. Yes, yep. yes it is. Yep. And so, and then we're connecting everything in the room with Kabbalah Sosna elation cables. I expect no less. <laughs> <laughs> We're using the YG Acoustic Sonya 1.2 speakers. We chose them because they're the perfect size for this room. Yeah, you, viewers, you want to match a speaker to your room. If you have uh, the, the 1.3s, the, you, you probably want to sit a little further back from them. And in a room this size, this just works perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Where the system is very close, if not exactly what we showed at Newport mm -hmm. this past summer mm -hmm. except for the speakers where that was a much larger room with higher ceilings and right. we were able to do the 1.3 yeah there. you could really get the full benefit of that exactly. extra height and that extra low end now we've had the benefit of being in this room for 11 years here at Rocky Mountain and so we do know how this uh, this room behaves and we've used uh, I think just about every YG speaker in here. I'll and be this, this was our choice for this show. Well, uh, fantastic. It's a great speaker. I've reviewed the speaker. It I think it's one is. of the top uh, speakers in the world today. Yep. yep. And just like uh, Newport here at Rocky Mountain, we're running two pairs on each channel, a total of four AudioNet Max mono amps. Mm -hmm. We chose the bi amp. We run one pair to the main modules. Mm -hmm. and then one pair to the base module. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that so everybody sees how they're wired up. Sure. We're, what we're actually doing is tri-wiring. So off of one amplifier we're running a pair of or a run of speaker cable to the tweeters and off that same amplifier we're running a cable to the mid base and then we use the additional amplifier with its own speaker cable to the base Mm -hmm. or to the woofer module. And here we have the back of the setup so you can see just how neat that the wiring and cabling of this loom of a leashing cable is. Well and the audio net amplifiers are superb amplifiers Bill. They really are yeah. and everything that we're using with audio net in this room is the current type top of the line. Okay. Well that's a great system walkthrough. Uh, do you have anything new to show? Yeah, this we, year? Do have, we do have something yeah. new in this room mm -hmm. to show. Over here on mm -hmm. Static Display. Oh, uh, this. Is <laughs> our new little baby from Kronos. This is the Kronos Sparta 0.5. This is our stepping stone product. You can, a client can get into this for $15,000. And then a year, two years later, if he wants to upgrade to the full-fledged Sparta using Kronos's key technologies of counter-rotating platters, mm -hmm. there's an upgrade kit for mm -hmm. $7,500. Mm -hmm. It's about an hour project, mm -hmm. but anyone can do it, and you can upgrade this to a full-fledged Sparta. Yes, and then that uh, you'll get a little bit more life out of your music, and uh, you'll get a little bit more uh, uh, speed accuracy yep. and magic. And quietness yeah, and yeah, space. Yeah. It's, it's a yeah. very good upgrade. Yeah, it's a beautiful turntable. So this is, uh, we said new, it was originally shown, a rough prototype was shown in Munich mm -hmm. of this year, 
And this is the first production piece that is shipped to the U.S. Well, there you go, viewers. This is the first time and you will have been viewing it on AV showrooms. I, and how about the controller? How cool is that? That oh, looks really nifty very, down here. You know? Very, very cool. In fact, if... The, yeah. This is what Louie has done for Sparta turntables now and for the Sparta .5 on and off. He's made, it's the same board layout as the power controller for the Pro mm -hmm. in the limited editions, but he's made it long and thin to fit under because there's no logic control sensor boards on the Spartas. Okay. So rather than having to put it somewhere else, you can place it right underneath the table and have full access to it and change your 33 to 45, turn it on and off. You can plug a strobe wire in the back. We've got a, a strobe gauge right on top of the platter. Hit the strobe, you can do the adjustments right mm -hmm. from the front. It's very well thought out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a great product. And well, it sounds I, terrific as well. Well, what I like about it, I'll be honest with the viewers, the controller, it's really a part of the overall aesthetic of the unit. And you can, if you pull it forward a little bit, it's got, and it gives you that, well, there's more to it than just the turntable on top. I do like that. Peter, from a can we pop standpoint. over to the other table and yeah, let's, show the viewers what we're talking about and why we made it that way? Okay, let's do it. Okay. So on the limited edition and pro versions, this is the power supply. Yeah. It's this little block, and what he's done is he's cut the height in half mm -hmm. and doubled the width. Mm -hmm. Because on the limited edition, as you know, on and off is done right there on the logic right board. Right on the board. Mm -hmm. Well, I've just reviewed this turntable, and uh, I urge all the viewers who are looking at the show report to go to AV Showrooms and look at the Kronos turntable review, uh, block out a half an hour of your life, and it will uh, change how you think and view turntables. That was one of the most powerful reviews I've ever listened to. Uh, thank you very much. It was my, uh, I'm, I was honored to do it, and uh, these products are off the charts fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bill Parrish from GTT. Can we do some listening? We sure can, Peter. Okay, here we go.
here's the bell. The bell, and you're in a trance when you listen to this track. And on this system, there is absolutely zero coloration, so all of the music comes through. The sound stage is open and immense. The involvement is off the charts. Another outstanding, outstanding room by GTT Audio. Thank you very much, Bill Parrish. Thank you, Peter. That was really a great, 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 great show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.